Good evening. Today is Saturday, January 22nd, and I come on the air with breaking news. Valentine's Day, only three weeks away. Have you already decided what you're buying your significant other for that special day? If not, please stay tuned as I show you DIY ideas for V-Day gifts. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a DIY Valentine Day gift idea. I hope that you like it. I bought a lot of my material, believe it or not, at the dollar store. For me, DIY is more special because it's, you kind of put your own ideas, you put the things that you like together. You just have to remember that uh, Valentine's Day is a day to celebrate love and whether it be for your children, for your spouse, for your parents, for your siblings. Let's go ahead and create something special that way you have something to give them on that special day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna get a couple of strands and just throw it in there. Okay. And I'm gonna put my tinsel to the side. Okay, so I have the tinsel in picked up today this pedicure set. Go ahead and open this up. And with the, the pedicure set, we have these little toe dividers, the little pumice set, a brush, and uh, nail clippers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing them in here. Then I have also this um, nail polish three-piece set. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna place my nail polish inside. And since it is Valentine's Day, I got an assortment of red and pink tones to go inside my bucket. And then maybe I could go ahead and even add a little bit more tinsel on top. And this is a little simple, but it's the final product. So for the next project, I also found this at the dollar store. We have these cute red heart-shaped baskets, um, and it comes in a set of two. They have a whole, a whole lot of fuzzy friends. Um, these are stuffed animals. So immediately when I saw the gnomes, I was like, oh my god, I have to get these. These are so cute. They also have these uh, mini size uh, sparkling cider bottles. So I went ahead and I bought one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there as well. And I'm a fan of dark chocolate. I don't know um, what it is that you that you guys like, but um, I went ahead and I got the mounds, which is dark chocolate uh, coconut. And then I got the traditional Russell Stover vanilla creams assortment of chocolates, a heart-shaped box. Um, I also wanted something to contrast the sweets, so then I bought an, ass an assortment mixed nuts. Um, so it's basically almonds, cashews, pecans, pistachios, and hazelnuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these in here in my basket. So we have our gnome, we have our apple cider, I have my assortment of nuts, and I have my heart shape lip box. And you can also put these in there. Um, you can take them out of the package or you could choose either or. Either you put your heart shaped chocolate or you could put your dark chocolate or all. They do fit. You can do this. And this is the final product.
for this one. You can also go ahead and get that special someone if they have a, you know, a favorite uh, fragrance. Um, you could go ahead and buy that also in the small size. And you could go ahead and put these in the basket. And I also found these really cool um, pink and red fortune cookies. So I went ahead and I bought these um, bags. That are like this. And we could go ahead just put in a couple in there and these are actually they're not edible they're made of foam but there's they're very cute so I'm gonna hit them three in here and we could go ahead and pop them in there and then it says the messages on these are either happy valentine's day you are one smart cookie you will have a fun adventure you make me smile you're sweet lots of hugs are coming a dream you have will come true you are a shining star believe in yourself you make every day special so those are the messages in our fortune cookies so this is going to be our other basket that we have. I'm a big fan of movie theater popcorn, so I went ahead and I also got some of that in a big bag. So I, I'm going to go ahead and individually be placing it in the bags. And I went ahead and got also some stickers. I'm going to go ahead and manually write on these. And I'm going to go ahead and put what's popping. So these, these are actually a good idea um, to give out. Maybe you've been wanting to talk to someone. Um, you have a crush on someone and you, you know, haven't found the right time. This is a good opportunity, uh, buy your popcorn. Um, you can also uh, try to Google any like gourmet popcorn shops in your area. So like the candy coated popcorn and you're always able to buy the red, the pink, the white and that would also be very good. So let me go ahead and start filling up my bags and labeling my hearts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one with uh, the regular butter popcorn. This is just kind of so you can see or get an idea. So this is already like our fourth cup. So I'm gonna add about four cups of popcorn. And then on this, at this, this other bag, I have our gourmet popcorn. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I've actually been wanting to taste it because it does look so good. So I'll let you guys know if it's good. So it is uh, chocolate coated or chocolate drizzled. Mm, really good. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole bag to this one because it's probably gonna be around the same. Or a little less, but it's okay. And then I have ribbon over here, pink ribbon. So we could go ahead and tie, tie the bags up. Then always remember that the ends, you want to cut, at, cut them at an angle so that it's slanted. The crease of the bags. Put my ribbon on here. It's always up to you whether you just want to do like a double knot or if you want to put enough ribbon to where you could make a bow. You can also do that. So I'm just going to double tie because I still have my sticker that I'm going to add. So I'm going to my ends it's probably better to use craft scissors the only thing that I have right now are my kitchen scissors but um, if you get yourself craft scissors it'll be I'm sure the lines will be more defined so then I'm gonna go ahead and tie my back up and I'm just doing uh, double knots on mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my heart stickers. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pen. And remember I said that on these because they're gonna be going on my popcorn bed. I'm gonna go ahead and put what's popping. So let me go ahead and do that. Peel them off. And they're, they're kind of like light, but you could also probably use the marker um, black pen because I, I used a pink pen. But let me go ahead and show you the final product so this is what they're they're gonna look like uh we decided to stay in i know because of the pandemic um a lot of people are not comfortable going out yet to a restaurant um then this diy idea is probably gonna be good for you um so i went ahead and i bought these uh they're battery operated lights they look like this and i went ahead and i bought a vase and it has um a different color of hearts it looks like there's red dark red and white so then I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery first. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my tinsel, put it in there to sort of disguise the battery. And then this will serve as a good centerpiece. 
So this is our centerpiece. If you're planning a romantic dinner at home, you could go ahead and use this. And for the last project, I went ahead and I bought these small heart-shaped boxes. And I intend on in putting in these chocolate covered strawberries. I bought the small paper cupcake cups. This is um, my favorite dipping chocolate that I like to buy, especially when making dip strawberries because it's very user friendly um, you, you're gonna go ahead and melt it in the microwave um, you use it in this container you dip your strawberries in this container and once you're done you could go ahead and dispose of it so I like this so let me go ahead and I'm gonna take my strawberries out of the freezer uh, start melting the chocolate and then I'll be back so that we can dip them together and assemble our uh, chocolate covered strawberry box. This is what it looks like inside. We're gonna uh, put our chocolate in the microwave and start melting it. And of course, don't forget to follow the instructions. Let's start taking out my strawberries. Stir my chocolate. The top so that you could grab it and you are ready to dip. So let's get started. our uh, chocolate dipped strawberries which are ready they had been sitting in the refrigerator after I dipped them for about five ten minutes so that they can go ahead and and start to harden then I have my heart shaped box they have these in all sizes um, they do have bigger medium small this is just a small but you could go ahead and get the bigger sizes and more of your dipped strawberries will fit in there. So I'm gonna kinda just go ahead and start picking these out. And I did kind I did figure that um, the most that would probably fit in here would be three. So I think, I think I was pretty accurate. It is going to be about three, three strawberries. Yeah. You could keep them in the fridge until you're ready to give them out. So 
we made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions on any other gift ideas that you saw today please comment below don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos happy valentine's day until next time Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like the video, guys.